Hey, what's up, YouTube? Say Fall Man. I'll bring another vlog video for you guys today. And in this vlog, we're going to talk about my Bricklink store, what my plans are for my Bricklink store. Do I make money off my Bricklink store? And we'll also talk about SIG Towers. How big will it get? We'll see. So first off, we'll talk about my Bricklink store. If you guys don't know what Bricklink is, that's a place where you can buy Lego. It's kind of like eBay but it's only for reselling Lego. And I'll put a link in the description so you can go check it out if you've never seen it before, which, I mean, I was collecting Lego for a while before I even realized what Bricklink was. And then once you figure it out, you're hooked because if you're building a mock or anything, uh, it's, it's basically gonna take all your money away. And I have a Bricklink store where I sell some Lego. I mean, my store is like 36,000 pieces, which on Bricklink, that's pretty small. Uh, but my goal is to try to make it a little bit bigger because I know I think probably around a hundred thousand pieces from what I understand from talking to people is when you really start to pick up in sales and I'd like to try to get a little extra money coming in so I could buy more Lego of course so I'm kind of keeping my eye out my eye out for deals and but unfortunately where I live at I live in central United States here in Missouri uh, and I'm kind of in a rural area like all I have is a Walmart and a Walgreens and they really don't ever do no deals because they don't have to because they're the only show in town. And for me to go to Toys R Us, the closest one is over like an hour away. And that Toys R Us is terrible. So, And there's a Target there too, but it's the same thing. It's like a Target in a mall. you know. So it's not very big and it, it just doesn't have very much Lego. So it's not easy for me to get a lot of good deals on Lego. So it's kind of pointless to just buy Lego for retail prices and try to sell it. But... I don't know, I'm going to try, you know, I've been talking to Chris, he's got his Bricklink store going crazy, but I mean, he has access to a lot of bricks at a good deal, and I don't have that, but he's kind of motivated me to want to get my store bigger, so uh, I'm going to try to do that and see what I can do, but if you guys want to check out my store, it's A-Fall Man, like I said, I'll put a link in the description, uh, you can check that out. And another thing I want to talk about was SIG Towers, now, everybody's been, you know, Talking to me about ideas, maybe twin towers or different things like that, building more. And uh, me and Chris were talking, Bricks for Chris, in case you don't know who I'm talking about. And uh, he convinced me, and I think it's a wonderful idea, to basically make another SIG tower and just mirror them. Put them back to back and just take them up. And I've actually started working on the ground floor. I've got some pieces coming. I'll, probably, I'll put a picture on the screen of what I got kind of right now. Uh, but I'm just ordered a bunch of pieces from Happy Blues Place, and once those get in, I should be able to get that main floor done, and then I can just probably, I can interchange the levels from one to the other, so it doesn't matter. Once I get that main floor done, I can kind of show you guys. I'll do an update once I get that main floor done, and uh, what I'm thinking is that main floor on the new one, I'll probably make the lobby, and I might just leave the bike shop in that other one. If you haven't seen, that's what's at the base of the one right now is the bike shop. Uh, but I, I think that would give me the option to make it bigger and uh, not take up as much space too in the city. And kind of what I was also thinking was like on that top floor on one level, the back level, I'll probably make it where there's doors open up to go out to the pool. So like the penthouse, you got the pool out there and everything. Uh, so that's my plan. So I, I really think that's going to look good, but I look forward to hearing what you guys think. And I, once I get that main level done, I can put a couple of stories on it and then I can... Put it together then we'll have a better idea of how it's going to look but i'm going to have to order a lot of dark gray bricks because that's basically what i do the whole back of it in is dark gray bricks and a bunch more of those one more of those uh one by one by five and one by two by five trans uh light blue i'm going to have to order a bunch of those so i'll be uh checking your all's bricklink stores out see what i can find but i just wanted to kind of let you guys know what I was thinking about that and you guys let me know what you think and let me know what you think about Bricklink I mean are everybody out there familiar with what Bricklink is and like I said I mean at first it took me a while to even realize there was a, such a thing as Bricklink and uh, I was probably collecting Lego and was on YouTube for six seven months before I ever ever purchased off Bricklink uh, but if you like to, you know, if you're of the age, I'm not telling you if you're a kid, you know, don't go out and just try to buy because I do get a lot of orders that I have to cancel because kids just go out and buy and then they really don't 
have a PayPal. They don't have, they don't know what BrickLink is. They just think you're just going to get some Lego. And unfortunately, it does take money to trade hands uh, to get stuff on BrickLink. But like I said, check it out, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.